From a video on my exotic series that took place in Virginia, many people ask me how you did that transition. And today, I wanna show you exactly how I did it. So stay tuned because you're gonna love it. Let's jump into Premiere Pro. All right guys, so we're in Premiere Pro and you have to keep in mind that this transition requires planning ahead. So you need to shoot your clips in advance knowing keeping in mind this transition for example here i show the video of me in the parking lot as the camera pans down and then from the ceiling it pans down too and ready with your clips aligned we're gonna go ahead and use the presets i added the presets into the description for you to download it's a series of different presets different textures that you can download and add them to do this transition like this So now we have our clips and we have our presets. So let's go ahead and use this one for now, the bricks. We're gonna go ahead and slide it into our sequence, just like this. Another thing you wanna do is to slow down your video where the transition is gonna take place. So we're gonna make a cut right here before the transition starts. I'm gonna right click speed and change the speed of this slow it down by 60% change to optical flow so we get that smooth motion and then we're gonna do the same with the second clip we're gonna go ahead and come to make a cut where the transition is gonna take place and then we're gonna move it over right here and then right click I'm gonna change the speed slow it down by 60% optical flow okay move this over all right so now we have this part at normal speed this part is slowed down by 60% then this other video is also slowed by 60% and this one's normal speed now what we're gonna do is align we're gonna align that transition where the two clips meet let me zoom in here so we can work it out better something like this just like this now we have the green screen that comes with the preset so you want to go to effects and look for an effect that is called ultra key and drop it into the preset now go to effect control panel select the selector and click on the green screen so we get rid of that and we have a transparent background with the preset something like this it's looking good so far but we're gonna do some adjustments to make it more epic so let's see okay we want to slow this down also by 60% just like this optical flow just like this move it over let's play this okay it's looking better Alright, let's see what's going on here. As you see, what's happening here is that the, the first clip is being revealed from top and bottom. And that's not what we want, because we want the second clip to be revealed in the bottom, right here. So how to fix that? We will have to align the clip so it matches perfectly. Let's just move it over a little bit. 
Let's give it a try. Now it's showing the second clip a little bit early. As you can see, the transition didn't finish and the clip is being revealed. So we're gonna move it over to the other side and actually we're gonna increase the scale a little bit. We're gonna scale it up a little bit, something like this. Let's try it. Okay, still doing it. Let's move it over a little bit. Let me zoom in here to do it better. Something like this. Still. Let's move it back a little bit there. Let's give it a try now. And yes, we have now the transition. Looking like this. Alright, so let's play it over. Let's see how it looks like. Alright, it goes down, down, and it goes to the floor, and then the second clip is revealed. This is how easy it is to do this transition. Let's select these clips and render selection. Sometimes you maybe you don't have to do all these adjustments if you have your clips, you know, it really depends on how you chart your clips. Now we have this smooth buttery looking footage just like this. Yep. That's how easy this transition is. And the good thing about the presets is that you can actually change the presets, you know. If you don't like the bricks, let's say you don't like the style of the bricks, you can just remove it and look for another preset, maybe this one here. This industrial metal one might look good. It really depends on the texture that you want to add to your effect, you know. Let's align it. Apply the ultra key. Effect controls. Use the selector to get rid of the green screen. Let's see what we got here. Something that looks like this. We still have to align it a little bit as you can see. We still have the first clip coming underneath. Let's see now. Still have it. Move it over a little bit. Something like this. Now we have the transition. Let's give it a preview. And this is how it looks. Let's just, let's just not forget to color grade your video, add a nice lot or color correction, and here you have it. The transition going underground. Make sure you like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to bring more and more videos, and until then, see ya!